I decided. Oh. All the setup. All the setup should be on camera. Okay. We're doing the multi cam now. Thanks, Andrea. Now what do you want? I kind of like this fabric. Okay, now switch. Little tripod, little tripod, little tripod. Sit and find it. Don't knock anything over. Very carefully clean on the wall. Oh. Where do you want to go, little one? Let's see. Ooh, I'm spinning you all around. turn you over. I know it's very unorthodox, but it'll be easier. I can hear the cats fighting upstairs. Oh, now you can hear them fighting down here. Lola! Lola! Hey! She wants to scratch the mattress. You can, you can scroll my face. Oh wait, it must be more like this. Or. Okay. Portion of our program, kind of a highbrow part. In fact, it's a museum of modern art. Exactly. We're talking about, yeah. yeah, but uh, it might raise your eyebrows. What this one might do, in addition to being highbrow, you have to decide this eyebrow. Why not around your eyes? to see it. The three pieces in particular that are new. Here's the first one. It's called In Ponderbilia by artist Marina Abramovic. The name of the artist, Marina? Marina. What her last name? Hmm. Don't know. Abramovic. Oh, okay. Like, you know, I the Eastern European something. Marina Abramovich. Try again.
Recording. Recording. Didn't even drop at that time. My mother dressed me as a devil when I was four years old for the little party. My first party ever. Everybody was dressed very happy. The princesses and cowboys. And I was looking so miserable. Just really little kid with a very sad black devil dress with two horns. I had no idea why I should dress as a devil. I think it marked my life. So we recreated this image. Oh, only six years later. <laughs> I mean, after the show, I have to really put some more attention to sex in my life, so I have to really look for it. If I put advertising like that, you think that will... That will like, attract some some guys. <laughs> same intellectual artist on the top of her career, looking for the single male. Okay. So basically, you're looking into many marinas. You look in the marina who is product of the two partisan parents, two national heroes. No limits, willpower, any aim she put in the front of her. And then right next. I'm a little obsessed. It's only for a few days. It started when I was thinking about the artist is present. You should watch it. power of that work is somewhere in the room with her. When she looks you in the eye. In the living moment of her. Can I find it here? The living moment. And more importantly, can you find it here? The living moment.
this one. You have the other one who's like the little girl who, you know, mother never gave her enough love and very vulnerable and unbelievably disappointed and sad. And there is another one who have this kind of spiritual wisdom and can go above all that. And this is uh, actually my favorite one.
emerged in the 60s as a result of a challenge to painting. Whatever it was, it was not something you hung on the wall. It's a form of art where the medium is the body. In the case of Marina, she used the human body to make statements can sometimes be quite violent, can sometimes be provocative. She is directly and boldly challenging an audience. What is at the heart of her artworks is the shared experience of the audience. When she did Rhythm Zero in Naples with the objects and people could use the objects against her, that is like the Stanford experiment, right? That's kind of a scientific experiment that reveals human nature. But what is art other than revealing human nature? It's like a murder mystery. It's like a Hitchcock. Is she going to get murdered there? The gun is, what's going to happen, who's walking in, who's walking out. The veneer of civilization is very thin. And what's absolutely terrifying is how quickly a group of people will become bestial if you give them permission to do so. And some of Marina's early performances were about that. It's playing with that edge of the knife that allows her to the intensity of the performances that makes them transcendent.
first ritual would be to wake up and do some simple exercises like like a kind of a, you know little jumping and a little bit of the energy releasing I will show to you it's very simple and then we go to the river anybody who have a problem with nudity please take a swimming suit one bikini one side two sides whatever you want all naked I don't care the purpose of this sort of thing is that they really have to perform three months which is a very big um, kind of obligation yeah. So they have to create their own charismatic space. And for that, you, 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 you have to consider some training. The proposition here is just empty yourself. Be able to be in the present time. Put your mind here and now. And there's something emotional open. And that's what we are looking for in this work. Performance, you have to have an emotional approach. It's a kind of direct energy dialogue with the public and the performer. And if you are performing in that way, and you are there, it's 100%. There's an emotional moment arrived to everybody. There's no way out. Everybody feels it. Artists have to be warrior, have to have this determination and have to have the stamina to conquer not just new territory, but also to conquer himself and his weaknesses. So it doesn't matter what kind of work you're doing as an artist, the most important is from Sorry. which state of mind you're doing what you're doing. Performance is all about state of mind. So, wait and see. Marina Abramovich, the artist is present, means said the from state. March 9th. The state of mind. Something of play, I guess. of mine. 